In this video, I'm going to be unboxing Love Every's The Babbler, which is for months 13, 14, and 15. And after the unboxing, I'll actually do a quick comparison on if you try to buy everything on Amazon. And um, let's go and see what's in it. All right, look what finally came in. This is the Love Every Play Kits, months 13, 14, 15, The Babbler. And I'm pretty excited to see what's inside it. All right, so before I actually unbox this, let's talk a little bit about how this video is going to unfold. Um, based off of all your replies, um, I think the majority wants two separate videos, and that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. So this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Love Every, and then I'll also actually compare the items on Amazon to see if I can find the equivalent items to see if this box is worth it. And then I'll release a second video later on after my son has played with the toys and um, I had a chance to review. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside this box. Um, fair warning, this box is really big and heavy, so it's uh, barely fitting on my desk with the camera I have here for you guys to see the unboxing. So I might be moving things a little bit around so you guys can see it better. All right, let's unbox. Let's see what's in here. So I've actually heard that this is actually probably the best love every box, um, according to value wise from all the comments I've seen on different Facebook groups and everything. Um, but let's go and see what's inside and see if it's true. All right, Ooh. it's covering up the camera completely. All right, uh, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Uh, let's see if I can readjust the camera a little bit. <laughs> All right, there. I think this is going to be a little bit better for you guys to see what's inside. All right, so as you can see, this is the play kit, months 13, 14, 15, the babbler. And these are all the items that are included in here. Um, let me put this aside so I know exactly what to call everything when I unpack it. All right, the first thing here on top is the Circle of Friends puzzle. Um, so it looks like it's just a bunch of little circle pieces. Yep. So this is basically an extended version of some of the puzzles that they've already received before, um, but just a lot of little different faces on here now. Okay. This here is just a regular booklet that tells you um, how to play with everything inside this kit. Um, comes with all other information too, so it's a pretty good read. Um, I would highly suggest you actually read through everything in this book, um, just so that you know how to play with the toys that are included in here. Okay, this is the organic cotton ball, a rainbow, organic cotton rainbow ball. Um, so it looks like just a little ball that looks rainbow, it's decent quality. And this one is an organic cotton watercolor ball. Um, might have to figure out what's more, why is it called watercolor, but um, I'll find out maybe a little bit later. Oh, this is exciting. Here we have some little booklets again. These are really nice um, size for kids to hold. This one's clean and messy, and this one's big and little. So these are more opposite books, it looks like. And even more books, Colorful Food and Where is Cruise Shoe. Mm, nice looking books. Books are always great to have. My son's really into books right now, so this is something I really enjoy seeing. Um, this little card is what they always have in there. Um, it's just a little card telling you how to clean everything in here. Um, not really too important, but it's nice to keep just in case anything gets dirty. Okay, this is Stella and her speedster. So it looks like, let's see if I can get it open. They do pack everything very well, so you do have to rip the packaging sometimes. Um, looks like it's just a little um, Stella and then a little car. Okay, looks like this is, what is this one called? Wooden, no, this is the flexible wooden stackers. All right, so this probably goes with this thing down here. Um, I'll get to that in a bit, actually. Um, come back to this, because it's below everything. It's a little hard to get to. All right, next we have the wooden coin bank box. Um, this is actually very similar to the tissue box where it's open on the bottom, and then there's wooden coins for them to put it through. Um, I've actually been using my tissue box very similar with the coins in a previous box already. But this one has a dedicated slot, so it'll be much easier for my son to put the coins through. Okay, 
next this is slide and seek run balls um looks like this goes with this guy over here um let's see if i can actually attack this as well it's not much room on this table to do everything here but this is the main gym in the thing in this box uh let's see if i can position it anywhere it's uh kind of hard to see for anyone actually let's look at this brain camera over here so looks this is really cool and fun so basically this thing would you drop a ball through here and you push it in and it just goes through the slides and everything and there's multiple places for your child to actually retrieve the ball um, which is really cool little slide um more openings a little soft opening here another door so this looks really cool. I, um, I'm sure I'm pretty sure my son will actually enjoy playing with this. And it comes with three different balls, um, three colors, all little battles. Let's put this down for now. All right, next in the box we have the nesting felt baskets. So these are a little um, just felt balls, and then these are baskets for you to nest and just put stuff in. All right, now let's get to this wooden stacking disc. Thing. See if I can move all this stuff out of the way. All right, so this, um, okay, so it's just for you to stack these rings on. It looks like, and it's flexible, so it's a little bit movable. And then these also come on the side. All right, that looks like everything that's included inside this box, which is actually quite a bit of stuff. But um, I'm glad they included a lot of items in here because this box is actually more expensive than the other boxes. Um, as once you get over one years old, um, these boxes are now $120 per box and you only get them once every three months. Um, so I would hope that there's more toys to keep your child entertained until the next box comes along. Um, but enough of that. I'm going to now go look on Amazon to see if I can find equivalent items on these. Um, and I actually might be um, extending the search to Etsy as well because I've actually seen that Etsy has a lot more equivalent items. So it might be easier if you're trying to build a la carte and buying from Etsy. Let me know down below in the comment section which toy you look forward to most having your child play with. Just a quick reminder, this portion doesn't contain any reviews of the items included in this kit. It's mainly me trying to recreate this kit with equivalent items I find on Amazon. I'll need a little bit more time for my son to play with the toys to give a full review and thoughts about the toys. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that review. Many do consider this set as the best love every box out there. Let's see if this box is actually worth the whopping $120 price tag. Give or take, I'll go in the order of Love Every suggestion of toy introductions to your child. The first item is a board book called Colorful Foods. As one might guess, this book is about colors and foods. I found a book on Amazon called Eat Your Colors for $6.95. That seems to pretty much be the exact same concept of helping your child put names to colors that they're starting to be aware of. Next brings us pretty much to the best item inside this box, the Slide and Seek Ball Run. So I couldn't find anything that was exactly the same as this item actually combines two toy concepts of a ball drop and an object permanence box. And the bottom isn't just any object permanence box, it has four different ways to open, which is fairly nice. As an alternative for this toy, I found two items on Amazon that matches the activities taught. A ball drop toy for $17.95 and an object permanence box for $19.95. The board books Big and Little and Clean and Messy are two little books that are perfect for giving to your child while on a car ride or while changing their diapers. While I couldn't find any mini board books that introduced the concepts of opposites, I did come across this set of mini board books that use real images rather than cartoon drawings for $14.95. The next three items are meant to be grouped together as they kind of serve the same purpose. The rainbow ball, the watercolor ball, and the purple felt ball. All three of these balls are slightly different shape, size, and texture. Let's start with the easier one I found on Amazon. An alternative to the purple felt ball is the set of these wool dryer balls for $9.95. These are baby safe versus some of the other options out there that I'm not sure if they are. Finding equivalents of the other two were a bit harder. They may look simple, but finding something like these two isn't easy as it looks, as there are literally a thousand different type of balls for babies and toddlers on Amazon. And not only that, but most of them were made of plastic and looked very cheap. The closest I could find was this rainbow fabric ball for $19.99. As for the watercolor ball alternative, 
I actually looked on Etsy. I found these small cloth balls at this one store that goes for $5.99. But keep in mind, it's not free shipping. Shipping to my home would be about $3.43. For the nesting felt baskets on Amazon, I couldn't find anything that was made of felt, but I did find these wooden ones that were $41.52. They teach similar concepts of nesting, so it'll do the job as an alternative. But if you do want felt set, you could check out Etsy. I found a set that was for $45, and but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use the Amazon ones as they are a bit cheaper. But I'll also link the Etsy ones down below in case you're interested. Stella and her Speedster is a nice little wooden race car. There's a set of three wooden race cars with people on them for $19.99 on Amazon. The Where is Cruise Shoe board book isn't just a regular board book, it's one with a little lifting flap. You can find a similar concept one for $10.69. But there is a slight difference as the Love Everyone uses real image instead of cartoon drawings. If you are interested in this book, make sure to select the hard copy of one and not the Kindle version. A Circle of Friends puzzle alternative I found doesn't quite have as many circles, but it's similar enough concept that's teaching a child for $8.99. The wooden coin box I found on Amazon cost $22.99, but it's also different on how you retrieve the coins. The Love Everyone uses a similar magnetic bottom to the tissue box from an earlier one, while the Amazon one is like a drawer. The difficulty is also slightly different as the magnetic bottom is probably going to be harder for most toddlers to open. They really did include quite a bit of items inside this box. Finally, the last item inside this box is the flexible wooden stacker. An equivalent that I found is this wooden stacker for $11.94. While it's not exactly the same as this one has three wooden pegs and none of them are flexible. The reason why the flexibility is nice is that it allows you to lean the peg towards the direction of your child. So if they're having a little bit of difficulty removing the rings, you can help them with it. All right, now to the main question. Is this box worth the price? If you try to purchase everything a la carte that I mentioned in this video, it costs you a grand total of $214.84, making this box actually a fairly good value as it's only $120. And you pay close to 1.8 times the cost if you want to recreate this on Amazon. Even if you decided that you didn't need both the ball drop toy and the object permanence box, it would still cost you $194.89 making it about 1.6 times more expensive than purchasing the box. Well, there you have it. Monetary wise, this box is worth the money. But if you want to find out what I actually think about the toys, or more like what my son thinks about the toys or reacts to them, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. And if you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.